everyone. Welcome to your spiritual liaison. One, two, three. All right. So let's, where the truth will be told, get your affirmations and your what manifestation on through meditation. Love yourself first. Please live your absolute best life and make sure that you get an amazing life on every single day. <clears throat> okay. I heard that song. First class up in the sky. First class. Yes. So Pisces, I don't know what that means. We're going to see how it's relatable to this reading. So I don't know whether you're taking a vacation or you're meeting somebody in first class or maybe that's on your bucket list to fly in first class. I don't know. Mm, you have the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful Pisces. That's your first call. That's, and on the bottom, you have the two. I say you may be meeting somebody in first class. And this Ten of Pentacles speaks of somebody who's really secure in their life. Um, you're going to get a lot of clarity, truth coming in. Something is about to be made clear to you. This could be about a job, your finances, or love, because you have the two of, of um, cups on the bottom. Let's clarify these three cards. Because I could put you in first class. Yeah. Somebody want to put you in first class. Hold on, Pisces. Wait a minute. Yes. Right, let's see what this is about. Ace of Swords here. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords. The lovers, nine of nine of um swords and the knight of cups. Hmm. So Pisces. You're getting clarity or truth, honesty about a lover. I get that this was your energy, Pisces stress like you were sort of stressed for a moment knight of cups it's like you're focused on some sort of connection that did not work now i don't know this I, this could have been with a lover but it's like you're focused on a connection that did not work and with that knight of cups some people Hmm. Some people look at knights as like stable. I don't as a tarot reader. I don't look at a knight as stable to me because if you notice their one of their horse's hooves, usually two are not all four hooves are not completely on the ground. You know, so some of them are some of them are not. Two of them are, two of them are not. So it looks like this is somebody who sort of like you were hurt about a love that wasn't stable. <clears throat> and you've gotten that clarity about that now. It's like you've gone through the hurt, you've gone through the pain and the hurt process already. That's what I see. See this ten of pentacles. Oh crap. Pisces. See? Mm-hmm. You know what I see with this? You have the knight of the knight of swords, you have the four of cups, and you have the queen of swords. Pisces. Do you know I see you about to miss an opportunity? To have to be in first class. Up in the sky. I want to put you in first class. So, I get <clears throat> you're so focused on some sort of whatever happened in the past with somebody. You're about to meet someone who put want to put you in first class. With this knight of swords, this person. This isn't a person who, like, they say what's on their mind. They say it with their chest. <laughs> they say what's on their mind, right? This is this is the type of person it is. 
And it does look like you're so busy focusing on this. You don't even see this person coming. I'm trying to put you in first class. You don't even see this person coming or you're not quick to accept their offer. Because look, you're in the Queen of Wands energy. I mean, Queen of Swords energy. So it's like, you could be quick to cut this person's offer down. Because you're still trying to deal with some sort of past energy, past hurt, or it's like you're not quite trusting what this person is going to say. Because maybe you've been lied to numerous times before. It's like you're letting some past energy block your future blessings or something. That's what I see. Let's look at this two of cups. So you may want to be mindful of that. Because it does look like you're going to meet somebody who is actually interested in you out of the blue. Something when you're not expecting it, so maybe you're riding in first class and you meet this person, and you meet this person. You could be at the airport when you meet them or something like that. Or either this person just flies first class a lot because they're stable in their life. Because this ten, this ten of pentacles here is like somebody who has worked hard to get to create stability for themselves. So they have it. But it's like you're so still in that energy of hurt that you have your guard up against even new energy. Like the old energy is kind of you're subconsciously blocking new energy. And then, wow, you have the two of cups here. Clarifying that is the star card and the empress. The empress reminds me of like somebody who is the head of a household or, you know, like that wife type energy. But I get that if you sort of like consciously realize that you're brushing somebody off or you're sort of like being cold to someone if you tap into your honest feelings and realize you're being cold to some sort of new person due to past hurt and you adjust it right then and there adjust it immediately you and this person may exchange numbers so maybe you're like okay i'll call you later and they kind of just brush it aside you may have a conversation with yourself a little a few days later, like, why haven't I called this person? They were very, you know, kind and respectful. The energy I get I get from this person is that they're stable and secure in life. This this new energy. A gentleman or a lady who is secure. But I get that you're sort of like it's so you may realize that you were cold to them because you're still hurting from the past so it does look like for a small few of you you're going to rectify that it's like you're going to take a chance and then give them a call or meet up with them and give them a chance and it looks like this is going to work out very well with this star card and this empress let's pull one more mm -hmm. so pisces <clears throat> With the star card, I had only pulled two cards, and then I, but I needed to pull three. But you do have the five of swords here. So, you know what I see? Once you meet this new person, and you sort of kind of get settled in and get used to being in the rhythm with this new person, this old energy is coming back. The energy that had you like this that you were trying to get over is coming back. So, and then look, on the bottom of the card is the devil. I told you, 
this person um, from your past sent you through a lot. I see it was very toxic. That could be why it took you so long to get over it. <clears throat> it was sort of like a manipulation mind game this person was playing. So they could have kept telling you how much they loved you or how much they wanted to be with you. But it was just to keep you chained to them emotionally or in a toxic way. It's like you saw the truth about the situation and went through the hurting, the healing, whatever process. And it's like, <clears throat> but you still have your guards up, though. That's what I see. So when this new offer comes in, you're sort of hesitant to take it because it's going to happen out of the blue when you least expect it. And this is a person who voices their opinion. They go after what they want. This is how they are. They go after what they want. This is somebody who has, they didn't accumulate all these pinnacles by being passive in life. They're a go-getter. They go after what they want. <clears throat> so, what did I say? I told you you're going to be kind of hesitant to take it because you're still in this past energy. I told you. I knew it. You're not seeing this person, this new person for who they are. Because you're still focused on this, who this person, the old person used to be. So I get that you're sort of like you've moved into this queen of swords energy. I'm not letting anyone hurt me anymore. And I'm just going to be cold with everybody. Then that way I don't have to worry about being hurt anymore. Or, you know, cold words, cold thinking, quick to cut people off, not caring. Pisces, that's that's that shows your hurt. It does, but something about this energy, you're going to kind of check yourself. This is what I see. You're going to kind of like, for some of you all, you're going to kind of check your energy. Like, why am I being cold to someone who didn't do any, they didn't do me the way this other person did. Like, why am I being cold to them? Why am I not willing? Why am I in this energy where I'm not willing to give them a fair chance, right? So I get just for a moment, temporarily, you're going to have this kind of confusion like, do I, I, you know, I wonder what's up this person's sleeve? What's their motive? You know, what are they hiding? Because that's what you got from the last person. So you're automatically labeling this new person something that they're not something that they may not be but i get you're going to check yourself for some of you all some of you all are going to go ahead and wreck yourself but some of you all are really going to check yourself like question yourself like why am i being cold to this person you're going to immediately see that it's rooted in this past hurt You see, you messing with a boss. This new person is a boss. They're not even going to, I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. I don't even see them tolerating this other person trying to come back. I'm telling you, like, I don't see them tolerating this. Once you open a door to this person, this new person, they're the type that invests and they the type they will change your life. In a very good way. They change your status in a very good way. This is a type of person like you've been sort of wishing for that you thought you would never meet. <clears throat> and they are boss. They could be. Um, they could be. They may be, this is a person who make laws. They could be the father of the household, so they may have children or something. But they may be divorced or... I get that this person is not, they're not a Debbie dad. They're not, or Debbie mom. They're, it, it's none of that. That's not the energy I get at all from this person. It's like this new person is a type. They take care of their responsibilities and the people in their circle, they select 
cautiously because this person has worked a lot to get to where they need to be. And something about you has their attention. They want to get to know you. So I get when you open up to this person. They're willing to, there's something about you they're really going to like and want to change your status, like get more serious with you. That's when this old person is coming back to try to cause conflict. But I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. They don't want that smoke with this new person. Mm -mm, I don't see that. This new person, they can rule with the iron fist for real. So I don't think that they want that smoke with that new person. Mm -mm, that your, your old person is going to need to pick their battles more wisely because they already had you here. You know, trying to be this type of way, you know. So it's like they're going to need to, um, yeah, because your new person is not the type. They're not a pushover at all. And they protect and defend what they, what they you know, want. Or I told you they to get these ten of pentacles, they put in the work. This person is not, they're, they're, this isn't, they not, this isn't new to them. They're used to this. They're used to having to put in the work to, you know, maintain a certain kind of lifestyle or <clears throat> keep what matters the most to them close to them. So it's like for some of you all, you're going to realize that before it's too late, that you are about to cut off a good potential. Somebody who has a lot of good potential. And you're going to snap out of it in time to rectify the situation. Some of you all, it's like you're going to kind of be stuck on, I don't know, because I don't want to go through and, you know. I look what I went through in the past. So is this new person going to do me that way? I don't know. You know, so some of you all are going to kind of be in that energy where I see the other ones are going to realize that you're pushing somebody away or you're not open to them. And it's due to this past energy. But for the ones who are going to hurry up and rectify this, I see this working out very well. But I do see somebody from your past trying to come back and cause conflict between you all. But I'm telling you, they're going to bite off more than they can chew. See, I don't know who your past person was, but <clears throat> acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So Pisces, it's like you have to accept that this person from the past was a lesson. And you cannot change what already happened is the past. You have to be honest with yourself about that. Be truthful. You can't change what already happened. I think that it's good that you even allowed yourself to go through, you know, the pain. I think that's good. Some people just, oh, I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. I'm not angry. I'm not hurt. I'm not hurt. And the whole time they are. But so I don't put yourself down for going through the pain. That's good. Okay, then it says indecision. <laughs> indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Told you, look, indecision came. <laughs> you don't know. It's like you're, I told you for some of you all, you're going to realize that you're you're not being you're not giving this new person a fair chance just because of the old situation. And your intuition is going to quick kick in like, you know what, this this person may actually be worth investing into or, you know, getting to know, building a connection with. And it's going to pay off. But for some of you all, you're still in that energy. You're kind of just like. A little still too hurt about the past <clears throat> to be open to new love. And then, but for the for the few that are going to hurry up and see that um, they're doing this out of hurt, cutting this new person off out of hurt, and then hurry up and fixing this is going to work. 
Um, and then it says self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul to, that benefit me and others. So something about your self-esteem, this person like, plus I got your new person got a really high self-esteem. They have a really good self-esteem. And I get that your self-esteem actually, something about you being in this queen of swords energy is attractive to them. I just get that they understand why you're that way. They get it. Maybe they were that way in the past at one time too. So I get that you're getting somebody who understands why you have to be cold sometimes to people. Because Pisces are known for people. They It's like they attracted to us like, whew. And they love poking a sleeping bear. Mm, mm, mm. But this person gets it. They understand. They understand why you're has it, why you're in this energy. They get it. They get it. They completely understand. Mm -hmm. And I get that you may communicate this to them. Like, Pisces, please don't be that kind of person that's like, oh, my ex did stay at that. Mm -mm. Leave your ex in the past. Like, they, if they ask about it, you could just give them a very short, you know, things didn't work out. I had to go through the healing process. Got a little bit bitter. Had to work through that, too. Boom, here we are. Like, you know, don't go on a bashing rant of your ex. Because I'm going to tell you, like, I've gone out with people in my past. When they bash their ex, I run. Seriously, I do. I'm like, that's a red flag for me. If you didn't see, if you were with somebody for years and you didn't see anything good about them, why were you with them? You know, so that's how I view people. Like when I hear them like putting their kids, mothers or kids, father, whatever. I mean, well, kids, mother and my, they, you know, put their kids, mothers down. I'm like, I don't want to hear that. Like that makes me feel like you, if things don't work out with us, that you're going to put me down and talk horrible about me too. So, mm -mm. but, um, or their ex-wife or whoever. When I hear that kind of stuff, I'm like, you know, you empathize with people and the hurt and the pain that they've gone through. But I don't want somebody that's constantly, daily putting their ex down. Because I can say I, I have, I've seen, like my ex, they have good and bad qualities. Just like me, you know. So, but I see that, like, this person understand why you're cold like that. They do, they get it. Because they've had to go through this too. So they could be divorced or just not with their, um, they could maybe just be co-parenting because they're not with their um, child or children's mom or dad or something. So, but it does look like this person does have a high self-esteem. They like your self-esteem. But you do have somebody coming back while you all are together. This person coming back is going to wind up needing their match. Somebody, they're biting off more than they can chew. Because <clears throat> this emperor is not the person who had that. And the reason I'm saying that this person is kind of like changing your status is because you have the emperor and the empress. That's a marriage. That's a, that you hear people using the word power couple. That's what that is. Yeah, and then you have the star card with that and the lovers. Yeah. You also you all also may have a little bout of um disagreements like both of you all are sort of headstrong. <coughs> so it's it does look like but you're gonna work through that though. Your your meeting it, this to me looks like a soulmate connection, Pisces. Something you've really been wishing for. You've really been wishing for somebody like this, and this is what's coming to you. So, okay, that's your energy. Don't blow it, Pisces. Being mad or angry about the past, please don't mess that up. Because it does look like you're about to meet your twin flame or your soulmate. But some of you all are going to mess this up because you're still letting that past energy 
dictate how you should deal with new people. Mm, okay. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm about to go work out because I got to work out. Mm, I'll be desiring it and needing it too. Right, I will talk to you all later. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will be uploading videos tomorrow. I'll try. Or maybe, I don't know. I may take a day or two off. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your weekend. I love you guys. Talk with you soon.